Welcome to the project demonstration of full bridge single inductor bug boost inverter circuit. So here we are going to do all the operation of first of all bug boost operation while charging of this battery from this 230 volts AC input to the transformer. So step down that to the 12 volts of AC and then we need to convert that to the pure DC voltage with the help of this charging circuit. So it has a two stages. One is for the rectification to convert the AC to, pul to pulsating DC and the filtration to remove the pulses and provide us the constant DC voltage. So that is the main charging voltage to this one through this bug boost converter with single inductor. So here why we are providing why we are using this single inductor bug boost converter means those we are providing this voltage to this battery. So if there is any power fluctuations and if you want to maintain the maximum current because as we are providing the 30 volts input from this transformer output is 12 volts AC while we are charging up the battery when it is low voltage then there is a chances of harmonic generator then the current will be getting low from this charging circuits parallelly the battery charging time will be increases in order to maintain the maximum voltage with maximum current which is sufficient to charge a battery that will be achieved with the help of this bug boost converter circuits with single inductor based driving one so how this bug boost converter works so it has one inductor and one switching MOSFET one capacitor so when we on this MOSFET then automatically the inductor start charging and when we off that it start discharging through this diode to the capacitor means on the MOSFET inductor charging when we off the MOSFET capacitor charges again when we on that this capacitor won't provide the back voltage as the diode was connected in reverse bias from the capacitor to the MOSFET junction so that the capacitor starts discharging in the second stage when we on and off the inductor capacitor voltage will be given as input to the output section that is to this battery charging slot. So as we are getting the more current from the inductor and more voltage from this capacitor. So in that manner when we are increasing the on time to the MOSFET then parallelly current also increases. So that is about this charging section of uh, bug boost converter. And the next coming to the inverter circuits. So there are two types of inverters. One is the basic single bridge and another is a full bridge. So now we are using the full bridge. So when we are using the single H bridge circuits for inverting circuit then we need to use the center tap transformer the input from the uh, transformer should be 3 that is a 12012 12 or 909. So when we are using the full bridge circuit there we get the more efficiency than the single bridge H, uh, H bridge inverter circuits as we are directly getting the negative pulses here negative current in the full bridge circuit we will get the negative current but in the coming to the off bridge circuits we won't get the negative pulses only like positive pulses will be switching to the step up transformer and directly it was a step up to the 230 volts AC from the output. So now we are going to get the negative pulses also from this HP circuits. So when these two MOSFETs will get switched on positive off cycle and these two will get switched on and these two will be off automatically. So we will get the negative off cycle also. Parallelly continuously the controller will keep on switching on and off by providing the 50 Hz pulses as we need to get the 50 Hz of frequency in the output to the tables inputs to the load. So for that purpose we need to go into on and off this MOSFET circuit HB circuit in 50 times per second so that we will get the 50 heads of frequency. So the first thing is if you want to charge a battery just by connecting the 230 volts AC input to this power socket so that we can charge a battery in a duration of 8 to 12 hours maximum so that is a charging time for this battery and once the battery is fully charged you can off this one. Now just see the demonstration with only battery. So when we on this, the system will provide the 12 volts DC input to the circuits and that is input to the HBI circuits and we need to on the MOSFET initially, sorry this uh, microcontroller and when we on that, this LED will be on and off two times. Now it will start producing the 50 heads of pulses to this MOSFET gates. So when we on this, automatically the output was step up to the 230 volts. So if you reset this motherboard, code won't be erased, just the controller will restart. See so when you have this, there is no signal to the MOSFETs, that's why there is no output from the step up transformer also. Right. Okay, so in this manner, we are going to get the maximum efficient output with the help of full HBH inverter circuits by using the PIC microcontroller.